Fluffy, I really appreciate you finally introducing me to your parents. I was beginning to think you were embarrassed of me. You know, because of my eczema. Oh, honey, you know I've accepted the fact you'll never be a normal a long time ago. It's not you. Then what is it? It's my dad. He's... Fluffy, come here, little girl, and give your old man a hug. Dad, this is Bookie. He's joining us for dinner tonight. Bookie, give me a high five. It's great to finally meet you, sir. The pleasure's all mine, son. Whoops, might be a little early for son. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Give me a hug, son. Dad. Sorry, Pumpkin. It's just that we don't see a lot of your boyfriends, and I'm just a passionate guy, as you know. Hey, Who's your team? I'm a Cowboys fan. Same here. Tell you what, let me go change out of these work clothes, grab us some beers, and when I get back, we can have a beer and talk about them Cowboys. Dad, Bookie has eczema. I'm so sorry. Well, let me get out of these work clothes anyway. I'll be right back. Sorry. What? Your dad seems nice. I don't see what the big deal is. You haven't seen... I don't know how to say this. Food's ready, kids. Have a seat and eat. Was that your father, I heard? Yeah. Oh, I thought maybe today would be the day he didn't come home. I guess that's my life. That's my life now. Bookie just met him. If you left now, no one would judge you. I only ask that you take us with you. Mom! Do you have a fast car? Is that why you brought him? Is he here to save us? No, Mom. This is your life. I still have a chance. Stop trying to hog all my bookie. I'm not sure what's going on here. He doesn't know. Is... is he hitting you? If only. I'm actually into that. Your dad actually seemed really great to me. You'll still love me after tonight. Promise me. Hello, ladies and gents. A tip of the hat to you. And a tip of the hat to you, my kind sir. Let's eat. I can't help but to notice your shirt. Thanks. It goes great with my trench coat. Speaking of which, has that thing turned up? Uh, no. It's the darndest thing. I keep losing trench coats. That's my fifth one this year. Trench coat, fedora, pony shirt. Oh, wait. Are you one of those bronies? Those guys who watch My Little Pony? I've heard about you guys. Actually, since I'm a father and not brother, I prefer the term phony. Dad is a late in life brony. Phony. Dad! Okay, I admit, phony does sound fake. He didn't start getting into My Little Pony until after I was born. That explains how you were able to actually get a woman to have sex with you. Tell me, what got you interested in My Little Pony? That little girl over there? I am so sorry, Mom. It's okay, dear. You were just a child. If I had known that when your father was watching them with you, it was more than just him wanting to spend time with you. I'd... I'd... <laughs> I'm sorry if I brought up a sensitive subject. I was just curious. It's perfectly fine, Bookie. Don't worry about Mom. She cries all the time. She's going through... The change. Can we change the subject? Is this what the big deal was about? Your dad's a brony? So what? Phony. Bookie, this is a big deal. I mean, look at him. I don't see what the big deal is. It's just a cartoon show. Who cares? Oh, no. Um, just a cartoon show? Let me ask you something. When Rainbow Dash found out it wasn't nice to cheat in the big race, was that... Just a valuable lesson in life? I... When Applejack and Pinkie Pie put their differences aside to make sure there was enough hay at the big barn dance, was that just a valuable lesson about friendship? I... When Twilight Sparkle used her enchanted horn to wish all the sadness in Equestria at the risk of never seeing her friends again, was that just a goddamn lesson in self-sacrifice? MLP isn't just a cartoon show. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had other choices besides your father, you know. I could have married Earl Hicks. Mom, 
Mr. Hicks went to prison for selling bootleg copies of Heaven is for Real. Imagine all that sweet, sweet Heaven is for Real money. Look, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to start anything. I didn't know. It's okay, Bookie. Dad is the one with the problem. At least I don't have eczema. So it's a sexual thing, isn't it? Of course. <laughs>